Um, you know, at times it does seem like it's gone fast. At uh, other times it hasn't. Um, but usually when the season ends, you kind of generally do have that feeling. Is it what you thought it would be in your first season? Uh, you know, in a lot of ways, yes, and in some ways, no. How much is improvement kind of defining this season? You know, the only four start. It's going to be tough to call it that, but the fact you can finish seven and five, can that carry over? Uh, possibly it can, but each and every year is a new entity in and of itself. But I think positive energy from the way you finished the year before sometimes can carry over. Coach Duan James ruled himself out for Sunday. Are you going to place him on IR or what's the uh, Right now, he's still on the active roster. Um, IR is a possibility, but. You know, only if we can find somebody worthy of bringing up. What's the general health of the team now? Are they still sick? Or uh, I, I, we're, there's some guys still have some lingering effects from it, but generally speaking, we're p past the middle road and we're, we're recovering. What do you make of Garrett Bowles' second half of the season? You know, the one thing about Garrett that uh, gets forgotten about and not mentioned much is um, he's there every day. Every day to practice, every every game to play, plays every play, and he's reliable in that regard. And I think that's an important quality that you're looking for in all players. Um, and he's done that. And he has played better this last, you know, I don't want to say what game it started, but this recent past, he has played better. What's the prognosis look like for Elijah this weekend? Uh, pretty iffy, pretty iffy. Will he do anything today? No, he won't practice today. Leary won't, and uh, Juwan won't. How do you think Conor McGovern handled his first full season at center? I think he did fine. You know, he did a, you know, the center has to quarterback the O-line with a lot of calls, and he handles that job well. Um, then you got to be able to block, too. And I think overall, he's had a good season. You guys have played well over your last four games. Let's just say you win on Sunday. Can momentum carry over into another season, or because of the roster turnover, maybe not? Yes and yes. It can and maybe not. Like I said before, you know, to you're asking me to predict the future, I don't know, but positive energy can produce positive results moving forward. But like you said, there's always changes and you have a new team. You've gotten a good kind of a feel of Broncos country and this fandom. How much does a winning home record matter to you as you in this first year as you move forward? Well, it matters a lot. We, you know, we really enjoy playing at our stadium. Our fans are great here. It didn't take me long to uh, figure that out. Some of our home games have felt like a uh, playoff atmosphere. Um, they're very committed and passionate about the Broncos, and it's easy to feel that. Coach, you have given the team off the Christmas holiday if y'all were in the playoff line or jockeying for position? Was that is that more of you know something you thought of? Regardless of record, um, I, the record had nothing to do with it. I think you know I've tried to think you know how we've done it other places we've been, and with it falling on Wednesday, it made it doable. You know I think in recent history I couldn't really remember, but a lot of the Christmas days have been on the weekend, and so it's not doable then. But definitely with it being on a Wednesday, it definitely was doable. We we kept the players here longer on Tuesday than normal, and we're doing a little bit more today than normal. What have you seen from A.J. Johnson the last few weeks and how he's progressed? Good. You know, he's still affected a little bit by the uh, knee injury he sustained about a month or so ago, uh, but he is improving from that on a week-to-week -week basis. But very pleased with A.J.'s play and where he's been this year. If he has a full offseason with the ones, where do you think he can grow the most or what do you think he can be? Just keep improving. I think, uh, you know, as you know, the story with AJ, he had about three years away from football, and that's a long time. And to come back and get thrown right in there and start playing and play as well as he did, I think speaks volumes about his talent and his ability and who he is as a guy. And hopefully, a solid off season will make him even better. After Sunday, how quickly do you jump into player evaluation and looking at the agency and the draft? Um, Rather quickly, we'll take a few days off, and then once we get back, we'll jump into that. Now, are you planning on going with John down to the Senior Bowl? Uh, really haven't decided yet. Did you end up here yesterday? How did you spend 
Yeah, I ended up here a good bit of the day, but uh, Christmas Eve I, at night, I watched a Hallmark movie in bed, and, <laughs> and, and then last night I watched another Hallmark movie in bed just to get into the Christmas spirit. Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, Christmas Under the Stars, or you know what I'm talking about? Was one of them. Uh, I'd rather a nice chick flick than some shoot 'em up, blow 'em up movie. Die Hard is not a Christmas movie. Yeah, how could Die Hard be a Christmas movie? Whose idea was it to watch the movie? Yours or your girlfriend? I was alone, so it was mine only. You watch Hallmark movies by yourself. I did. I was in the wanted to feel a little Christmassy. Uh, Thank you very much. All right. <laughs>